You ever get that feeling like you really have to poop, but you just gotta hold it in? It got you squeezing your butt cheeks together like... Okay, so this story comes in three parts. First part of the story. So a while back, me and my boy Aaron decided to go on a trip to Atlanta because we're so gangster. So we arrived to Atlanta. I can tell you why I cannot go back there in just a little bit. We were staying at my uncle's friend's place. Fancy place, by the way. It's like one of those houses where they have this really weird basic painting at an odd corner of the house, but you don't want to question why the painting is there or else it'll backfire on you and they'll roast you saying you're not artistic enough. This reminds me of my childhood. Stop this. Yeah, it was one of those houses. So we look around the place, try to get the general feels of the area, and all of a sudden my stomach had like cramped up. I swear, I had to check if my water broke. It was an emergency. I have to poo, like real bad. Hello? So I ran back into the house, went straight to the washroom and started pooing all over the toilet. When you flush a toilet, it's like this satisfying feeling that you get that a part of you is gone and it's sailing off into the free world, but I didn't hear it this time. My poop got stuck. Before anything, this is what I learned. First of all, the toilet hole is way too small in Atlanta, like a Tic Tac would probably get stuck. Second of all, there was no toilet plunger. And I don't know why the house didn't have one, but let's continue on with the story. So I was freaking out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, what do I do? Do I go outside and ask for help? Or do I keep flushing? Because the more I flush, it will probably keep raising up the water level and it'll spill over all over to the floor and all over my cute toes. Yes, my toes are very cute. So normally, a toilet plunger would be on the side of the toilet but since this doesn't have one there was cabinets in the washroom so I started opening all the cabinets trying to see if somehow there was one there Psst, there wasn't oh, yes. I was like hmm the toilet brush was inside the cabinet interesting maybe that's how you guys do in Atlanta but sure whatever rocks your boat or poop. Anyways, I decided to start hitting my poop like really hard, trying to break it off the little pieces with the toilet brush. You gotta be quicker than that. That didn't work. My poop was just too hard. When you try to hit it, the poop just swims away. It's like, no, don't get me. So a few minutes pass and I've been in the washroom for way too long. So the toilet brush was kind of pointy in the front. So once when I was able to actually stab it, it wouldn't break. So I decided to lift it out of the toilet. And I was thinking if I should either drop it in the shower where I can run hot water through it so maybe it can decompose or just bury it in the trash can. <laughs> The shower thing had too much of a procedure, so I decided to just toss it in the trash can and the toilet was able to flush. Luckily, the trash can had a lid. So I put the toilet brush back inside the cabinet, washed my hands, and my day went on. The second part to the story. So later that night, I didn't tell anybody about that poop dilemma because it was so embarrassing. So out comes my boy Aaron from the washroom. He looks distressed. We made eye contact. Hey man, what's wrong? Dude. I clogged the toilet. I was so scared because... Because, because there, there was, was no, no toilet, toilet plunger. plunger! Yeah, how'd you know? It, it doesn't matter. So what happened? Dude, so there was no plunger and I'm trying to figure out why. I would think it's the regular thing to do to have it right next to the toilet, but I guess they do things different here in Atlanta. The toilet hole was so freaking small and by the way, have you seen the house? There's like this huge basic painting in this really weird area of the house. It got me looking at it like, huh, what? W what is this? And the owner decided to walk over here and go like, you're not artistic. I'm like, what? But anyways, I found a toilet brush inside the cabinet, but when I opened it, it smelled so bad. It was like, whew. like I felt I got hit in the face. So I'm not trying to waste any more time in there. So I stabbed the poop. And when I opened the trash can lid, I felt like I got hit in the other side of the face. It smelled so bad. I dropped the poop in there, but it probably smells a lot worse right now. Bro, that's exactly what I did! We did the same thing! Oh! 
Yeah. So we both laughed at this experience and went to bed. The third and final part to the story. It's morning time, we woke up, got ready, went downstairs, and ate. We were about to leave the house until we heard this scream coming from one of the family members. What happened? This lady ran out of the washroom and me and Aaron made it in time just to see her open the door. Only to see that the toilet was overflowing all over the floor. There's poop on the ground, dirty water, and everyone's cute toes. So the owner rushed into the washroom to open a cabinet to grab paper towels, but he was hit with the smell of the toilet brush. He was definitely confused, pissed, and probably mad. He opened the lid of the trash can to toss the brush away, but he was hitting again in the face of the smell and stains of poop all over the trash can. So he turned around and looked at us. We made eye contact. And that is why I can never go back to Atlanta. I'm making too many poop videos. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right down below for more future videos. Until then, stay served and peace.